15 and the main thing they seem to be doing is taking the barrier down and extending the barrier near the bus station. Again it's not 11 o'clock yet so nobody else has started work. Well, while it's nice and peaceful and nobody's working we can get a good view of what's going on. So plenty of diggers about. It's all nicely flat now. The uh, plant pot thing is now more or less level. I'm informed that that's like a drain to uh, take the water away. But other than that there's no sort of actual building. We've got the curb stones there. So we've been hoping this week to uh, perhaps see a bit of action. Well, it's now starting to rain after the heat, so well, that's going to slow them down. I can see that uh, they're bringing all those barriers down, and there's a further barrier, so presumably they're going to move it all out a few feet. Not very exciting, but nevertheless. at least got the road open at long last but as you can see the barriers have come way way out so the pavement there is totally gone now you can't get there at, at all but at least the roads open we have a good selection of the pigeons this morning so they're not going anywhere I don't care what they do the pigeons are hanging about Just on as the car park and going back a fair few years now I did uh, crew the ghost town and those that sort of remember it for about three years the alarm was going on this tanning centre and still it's well rubbish <laughs> and it's really an eyesore and if we're going to regenerate doing something with this be a good start. It's <clears throat> nearly 11 o'clock and still no sign of anybody actually doing anything. We haven't got the guy on the seat there so we can get a good view of what's not happening. There seems to be a lot of stuff about but nothing. We've got this grid they've dug up here. Still not completed to the road, this levelling. We've got lots of cages about, we're not sure what they're doing. Everything's at a standstill at 11 o'clock because it's, it's a bit early for them. And there's nothing you can point to, you know, and say, oh, well, they've done that. This week, I mean, it is level down there. It's probably actually a lot of work, but uh, nothing you can really see. Right, a bit further around the corner, a bit further around the corner, we can actually see progress. We've got curbstones in. So we can actually see something has happened. Not the most exciting thing, but uh, the curb stones are in. So presumably that's the main project this this week. Other than that, as you can see, there's not a, a soul in sight, not a soul doing anything. We've still got two trees over there that uh, presumably they're going to have to yank out at some point. Probably been better to yank them out before they put the curbstone in because if they're going to yank them out, they're going to wreck the curbstone. A bit further round again, we can see they've actually got 
the main drains in now. There's two big drains there. So presumably that's a bit of uh, progress. And yeah, I can see a, another drain there that's gone in. So presumably getting the infrastructure in. Uh, and we're still hoping for some real action soon. Now low view again. Quite sneaky this really. It does give a, an interesting insight. If I don't get myself run over. Well they have now kicked into life. Well, nearly. <laughs> I've just been looking at the uh, plans on the bus station and none of them make any sense and none of them really tell you what's happening. It repeats itself many times that we were going to have more cafes and more pubs. It doesn't really tell you anything other than lots of cafes and pubs. Do we really need more cafes and pubs? I thought I'd step away from the town a bit and come up to High Town. Now this used to be a very vibrant uh, place. We had Carlis's, the uh, bike shop and cake shops and all sorts of things. And now it's a few houses. The limelight has been empty for God knows how long. And the whole area is still basically run down. There's one little shop there. We've still got this little tiny park, which is sort of a little jewel in the crown, not a lot to see. I was to go around and talk to people and nobody but nobody is happy with the, what's happening in the town. We've not seen any proper plans as to what's going on, what we're going to get. All we've got is cafes, pubs and shops and it's not telling us anything and trying to plan for sort of five years time God knows where we'll be so we're looking at 2023 if they ever make their mind up what they're going to flaming well do and nobody's happy about the situation and the problem is as I said before that there's no actual town where you can go shopping. There's a bit here and a bit on the town and a bit on the retail park. And nobody wants to go to the retail park because you can never get off. And it's such a change. I mean, years ago, if you wanted a television, you went to here to Charlesworth and they knew about the tellies. And you took them home and if they broke, you rang them up and a fella came out and fixed it. Try getting somebody to fix your telly nowadays, it's almost impossible. Did a quick Google search, the nearest one is sort of Stoke on Trent. So we're just throwing everything away and you go in shops and nobody knows anything anymore. There's no specialist shops. You used to have the camera shop uptown and they knew about cameras. And now we've got curries about the only place you can get one and they know nothing. Quarter to eleven and we've got one little man here wandering around all in his own some, checking heights and what have you. There's another new drain there. No machine, it's nothing working. that pipe sticking up there. Other than that there's nothing happening whatsoever because they can't get out of bed yet. An old rickety gate here and they've taken that down and put this barrier up which is quite nice because if I sneak the camera in there we can get a good view of what's going on. I just 
Get an uninterrupted view of uh, everything, so that's going to make my life a bit, uh, a bit easier. Sitting on the square, I've been talking to people about the new uh, bus station. Who remembers when the bus station was here? They all used to come round the square and there's no bus station as such, it was everything was round this square. And it seems a much better idea than spending a fortune on making a bus station. It worked for many years and the buses were heavily used then. There's the Odeon over there, which I use a projectionist. Here was the telephone exchange. And everything was in one main area. We had WH Smith over there. We had the uh, job centre over there. And certainly going back to the old ways. Of course, we did have Britannia until some idiot council moved it and put it in the wrong direction. At rebuilding the town, but well, if we look, there's empty shops there. There's game empty, there's boots empty. So why are we going to build more shops when we can't fill the shops that we've already got? As we looked before, we've got uh, Deborah closed down. Carters have been there for years gone. The shop here gone. And of course Marks and Spencer's been empty for donkey years. So it's a serious question, why then we're not filling these shops? Why does nobody want to come to crew and take on shops? So if they're not coming for these, why the hell should they come from any, for any new shops? It's a serious question. Positive side, Hong, if I got that right, uh, opening a new noodle and dumpling bar. So that's a bit positive.